Hey my tight curly girlies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. I started the 30 Day Hair Detox in January 2021. So the purpose of my hair videos is to continue to encourage you to simplify your hair routine, to enjoy your hair care routine, to have um, shorter wash days, to be able to predict the results of your set from week to week, and to just share my hair journey with you, my progress, how I'm maintaining my tight curls and the different styles and stylers I decide to try each week. So I'm so happy you're here. Uh, this week I am going to be using three products for my wash and go. Um, if you are a member of my IG broadcast channel, Adorned by Nicole, the broadcast channel that's for hair, not the one that's for sewing, then I put a poll over there to let you all vote on which product combo that I use today and stay tuned to see what you select. I'm so happy you're still here. So first of all, ways you can support my channel. Read the description box, look at the affiliate links and code, shop through the links, comment, like, of course, subscribe. My goal by the end of this year is just to reach 2K on YouTube. I'm like 134 subscribers away from that goal. So if I hit it earlier, all the better. And another way you can support me is to join my newsletter, www.adornbynicole.com. When, when you join my newsletter, you get a free mini guide with my favorite shampoos, conditioners, and tools and natural hair resources that have been helpful to me. You get every week when I go live on Instagram, I send the replay out through my newsletter. And then I also have a blog where um, I post about different interests, hair, cooking, fashion, lifestyle. So you can support those posts by commenting. And I think that's it so far. Okay, you can follow me on Instagram. All my handles are at Adorned by Nicole. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, even Facebook. Yeah, even though I'm not as active over there right now. So support me by following me on all my different channels. And I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. So first of all, for today's wash hour, we are going to incorporate the K18 hair mask as my treatment for today. So how you use this, and you can look on their website, they have a very good description about how you can use it, whether you can use it with a rinse out conditioner, etc. But I'm gonna cleanse my hair with, um, I have in there Color Radiance and um, I think Hydrating Hair Bath is what I'm gonna use this week, the Intercent Shampoo and Conditioner. This was gifted by the way. Then I'm going to, after I shampoo, then I'm going to apply the K18 to my hair, wait four minutes, then don't rinse it out or anything. It's a leave-in treatment. Leave it in, okay? You wash your hair first, right? When you wash your hair, you open up the cuticle, you apply the K18 so then it can go in and fix your hair from the inside out, right? Then afterwards, when I put the conditioner, the rinse out conditioner on my hair, that's gonna help seal down the cuticle. Then I'm gonna detangle my hair with the conditioner in it. Then I'm gonna style as desired. My desired style this week is a defined wash and go. You guys said, you want to see Uncle Funky's daughter. You want to see I Create Holds. And you want to see Bamboo Ginseng. So let's get into it. I'm going to go cleanse my hair, condition it, cleanse, treat, condition, detangle, apply UFD, then I'll come back out here to do the rest. This is my Lavish Cocoa Lip Balm. Um, I found a flavor oil that's dragon fruit flavor that's supposed to be a hundred percent natural so for the markets this fall i am thinking about making the same lip balm it has castor oil organic cocoa butter and beeswax and then to use the dragon fruit flavor let me know if y'all are dragon fruit people but okay my hair is full of water and uncle funky's daughter i <clears throat> almost forgot to take the KN treatment in with me, but I remember before it was time to wash my hair. And so I left it on for a little over four minutes. So, you know, you can cleanse your hair, then apply the K18, work it through your hair, let it sit on there for four minutes, then you can take your actual shower, you know, everything shower, and then remind yourself, don't rinse it out, but apply your conditioner, 
or you can go straight in. No, I, I would say apply conditioner first, then go in and style as usual. So that's where I'm at. So now we're going to do eye create hold. I got Felicia here. I looked on my Amazon and um, I'll put the link for the brush here, I guess. And they had it in black, purple, and red. The original red, you know, pink color. So I think when I get a new one, I want to get a different color. So that one's red, so I think I want to get the purple. That'll be nice and different. And I wanted to remind you, um, I have already pre-recorded detailed videos on my Patreon page for my technique for cleansing for how much UFD I apply because I troubleshooted and it took me 10 months to master my set and to kind of know how my hair should look, how my hair should feel, you know, when it has enough product of each product, etc. And so if that's something that you want more detail or insight into, then you can join my Patreon and you can watch those videos that I've pre-recorded over there. And the reason I made them was to help you to improve your technique because it doesn't just start when I get out here and rake and smooth my hair. My technique starts when I first wet my hair with water. Um, today, as I was, as I wet my hair, like I was pulling it down and then it's, an amazing feeling when I pull my hair down and the water runs under it you can feel the curls like unfurling and elongating so all that is setting your hair up for a very <coughs> <coughs> allergies defined wash and go set and so if that's something that you you I mean you can always go in and see some curls that I am black girl curls created that's how I first started learning um, what a technique is but then I've kind of acquired my own over time so if that's something that you want us to look at then join my patreon and enjoy all the little goodies I put over there for y'all okay that's Uncle Funky's now y'all decided y'all want my top red to be bamboo ginseng which I'm kind of excited about bamboo ginseng is it just holds your hair down forever like if you want a you know, relatively, I live in humidity, sweat proof, you know, work out every day and your set still looks pretty good every day. Um, you know, elongation definition, but it's not going to give me volume with this set. So I'm wondering next week I might do the same two base gels, but this is the, the mousse. I'm wondering if I put the mousse as the topper. If I've done it before, I forgot. Then will it give me more volume, but still give me the same anti-humidity, anti-frizz protection that the curling glaze does? And if you have already done that experiment and you know the answer, you can let me know in the comments. So I'm gonna do like two pumps on each side. So that's one pump. That's, that's a lot and then of course you're gonna emulsify it spread it out warm it up this helps you to distribute it better throughout your hair you don't just want everything clumped on top of each other you want it to be able to easily get on top of and move through your hair and I'm gonna do that was one and a half so I'm gonna do two two and a half on this side because there's more hair here let's see how that goes that's how get all that has already just more elongation did y'all notice I didn't do my part as deep today you change your part you can change just like your whole look of your hair if I part it over here you know my hair doesn't lay the same on either side and my face you know it's pretty symmetrical but the hairline everything it's not the same on both sides so it just it'd be looking different yeah so it's been a while I've had it on my this side so it might be time for me to switch my part 
again. We'll see how I feel. Okay, so that's distributed. Now I'm gonna separate my hair into quadrants, clip it in place, and rake and smooth. Okay, so I think you can already see that you definitely get more initial hang time with the bamboo ginseng as the topper. So I'm gonna do this side, sit under my hooded hair dryer for one hour, and then we'll see how dry my roots are with this combo. And if I need to, I will go in and dry my roots with my Dyson handheld with the concentrator nozzle, and I will show you how the finish look. So this is my hair before going under the dryer. So I've put your hair how you want it to lay before you get under the dryer, because of course that's where it's gonna dry first if you want. I want my part to be a little sharper. Where's my comb? You can go ahead and do that. Make your part a little sharper. should have done this before I got to this point but here we are okay blend that into the rest of your hair and then you smooth this back down cough you want your edges to be a little sleeker you know take some time and put a little more gel over there if you want to and here we go use your edge brush if you want to but I just don't feel like grabbing it so that's that's where we're starting gonna get under the dry for one hour put my put my dryer link here for y'all to go check it out okay I earn commission when you shop through my link so if you want to support my this free content then please shop through my affiliate link so I can earn commission so I can keep creative for you here's my hair after one hour under the hooded hair dryer nice and crisp it's not a hundred percent dry at the roots that's normal but it's dry enough to be comfortable and it probably will air dry um, by tonight when it's time for me to go to sleep that's how how dry it is so this is where we're starting with my set this week and I'm excited to see how it's been a while since I used bamboo ginseng so I'm excited to see how it holds up with me just having used four pumps for my whole head. Bye. Thanks for watching.